Oh, right, right, stand that way. So that I'll show you what you what was. Oh no, is it bad? No, it was the angle of the camera. Yeah, but why is it like that? Are you sure? Just I think it's just a bit of just your muscle there, babe. Oh, it doesn't it's not hunchback. I've got the vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the flattest I can make my James. back. Yeah, that is flat. Is it? Yeah. It's just um, it's just a muscle, babe. There you go. Look, I look like that. <gasps> that that one's quite bad. Or it might be my ribs pushing my muscle outwards. No. Yeah, you've got a big muscle there. It's probably that muscle's probably overcompensating, but it's not hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> Welcome to start of a new weekly vlog. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. I've just been editing my wardrobe declutter that I filmed yesterday. It is currently 130 minutes long, but anyway, that's not the point of it. I was just like skim editing it and found this clip of me bending over to my jumper drawer. And I honestly watched it back like five times being like, I've got an actual, like my hunchback is coming back. Look at this. Look at that. Huge lump on the back of my back that looks quite bad doesn't it i watched that and just had a little panic and made g come in and check my back because i obviously have scoliosis that's why i'm so short i've got like bolts in my spine keeping it straight because when i was younger doing a ballet class um, we did an exercise where we had to like get yeah, straight and over so we had a flat back and the teacher would put a glass of water on our back and um, the challenge was like the flatter the back and the stiller you are, the water wouldn't tip and get you wet. But she couldn't put it on my back because there was a lump there that my parents hadn't noticed. So then I went for loads of tests and they found out that I was missing a rib and um, one of my vertebrae is like a triangle instead of like a rectangle. Yeah, and that was that was how they discovered I had scoliosis. But um, yeah, I just I guess I hadn't seen my back from that angle before but apparently it's fine i do have a very big muscle though that side oh like it must be overcompensating for something anyway so there's this fox it's all going on in in this hood there's this fox right um and it loves the garden of an empty house opposite us like they renovated this house by the looks of it but no one's moved in yet every single day there's a um, same fox there just chilling and today he's in the cutest place Look at him, he's just outside the back door, having a little itch and a groom. But before I got my camera out, he was just curled up there. Normally he sleeps on the extension there as well. Um, but yeah, that's so cute. Oh, this guy's come and joined me. Hello. Hi. Hey, baby boy. For lunch today, we've got scrambled egg with feta. And some tomato on a on a thin bagel guys i haven't got much goss today it's been a pretty chilled friday but I, i've spent the most of today editing that long ass decluttering video um but yeah it should be ready to go up next week and um, my parents also popped around for a quick cup of tea my mum bought me some sunflowers which was nice i've been having a bit of a hard time recently so i think they just wanted to come and check i'm doing all right um but yeah we've got a really nice weekend planned tomorrow g and i are going to do our usual clean the house routine have a ride on the bike got some wedding planning to do which is exciting and then i'm going to celebrate my friend's birthday we're just going around her house for a little pamper wine and face mask afternoon and then coming back here for a takeaway in the evening and then on sunday we have decided to go and have brunch at a local cafe and then come back for a read on the sofa yeah just a nice chill i've also been really into my book at the moment which is by Lisa Tadeo and it's called Animals. I loved her first book called Three Women. I read that last lockdown, in last summer I think it was. Such a good book. Like I read the prologue two or three times because I just couldn't get over how amazingly written it was. See, I was really excited about her debut fiction coming out and it's so good so far. Like I don't really know what's going on but it's really good, I recommend it. Her writing style is so, yeah, it's just great. And then I've also really been into a PlayStation game that we started 
I want to say a year ago we started playing it. Beyond Zero Horizon. No, it's called Zero Horizon Dawn or Horizon... Wait, what is it called? I always forget. Horizon Zero Dawn and it's um like an open world game and you're this really strong powerful woman with a bow and arrow and the world has been like it's kind of dystopian it's been taken over by these monster robots robot animals and you have to kill them and it's just really good and explore the land so i love running around and collecting ingredients to make better weapons <laughs> and clothing and killing some animals so yeah i'm gonna play some of this now then we're gonna put an oven pizza in i think because we have no food in the house it is sunday morning my voice is a bit deep today because i had some prosecco yesterday and um, had a, like a pamper day with my girlfriends we did face masks and drunk loads of prosecco and had crisps and dip celebrate one of their birthday um, but today is Sunday and I'm so excited about today because we've got no plans other than to chill. So we're going to read our books, play our PlayStation game. I want to do some little bit of gardening, a little bit of pruning. But first we're going for brunch. We're going to a local coffee house. We haven't tried their brunches yet and they've got a really interesting dish called Mumbai eggs. Which I think is scrambled eggs with spices. So yeah. Exciting. G's got the breakfast stack with the Mumbai eggs and chilli jam and I've got the mushrooms and hummus on toast. I am home. I'm looking super rough because just um, jumped on a 30 minute bike ride on the peloton. Takes us ages to cool down in this house. Um, but now it's sofa time. We also cleaned the outside of our front garden like hosed it all down i trimmed back my hanging basket that i got last week uh washed all the window sills and just like broomed up a bit which was fun um i'm now eating my fa my current favorite snack which is can you move your legs just a tiny the current favorite snack is slices of apple dipped in a little bit of peanut butter. It's just a very, very nice snack. They, these two go together so well. Oh God, I'm not doing that very well, am I? And got my Kindle there so I can read my book. Guys, today's been so lazy. It's now 20 past seven and I'm cooking dinner. Sunday night, we're having beans on toast because we don't have anything left. We're not getting our next Gusto delivery until tomorrow, but I wanted to tell you about my new favourite way to do beans on toast. It's by adding some smoked paprika into the beans when they're on the stove. It just gives the loveliest smoky heat of a flavour I can recommend. It is Monday morning. I've just been editing this vlog back so far and I just cannot get over how bad my skin is at the moment. It's so bad, like my whole chin area is completely broken out and I know what it is because I've been having loads of ice cream recently. I haven't in about, oh no I have. I haven't had any ice cream in a, in a week now. So I'm hoping they'll start to go down and clear up. But I was just editing this vlog and I felt so embarrassed. I was like, I'm supposed to be like really good content for you guys really entertaining but you're probably watching this vlog back being like uh what why am i watching this girl with this huge dirty chin why do i feel the need to apologize for how my skin is reacting i don't know i've kind of just got to a point now because i've had acne for so long where I look in the mirror and I try not to even notice it because otherwise it will just get me down and I know that there's nothing I can do to stop it unless I stop eating dairy. It's really annoying. Saying that, I have just come on my period five days early. That might also be why my skin is broken out so bad. But yeah, it's so bad. Look at it. I just can't get over how rough I am looking in this vlog so far. So I feel bad for apologising because I want to inspire you guys who also are struggling with your skin to know that it's not the end of the world and that people see past that. But I don't know, there's something about watching yourself back and seeing how bad you looked at a certain time and being like, oh man. I'm about to do my makeup, cover all this up. I haven't got that many plans for the week work-wise, so I'm gonna sit down with my notebook and a cup of tea and write a list of content I wanna film and make. 
have got a brand job I need to shoot today and very excitingly we've got um some handymen like builders coming around later and we're going to walk them around the house after work this evening and show them everything that we want doing and changing and so yeah hopefully they can go away quote it all up for us and tell us if they can do it but I'm really excited about that because it involves a lot of panelling some of the walls I want to get some sort of shelf made in that kind of alcovey bit here. In fact, I'll, I'll, I won't tell you anymore. I'll walk you around and show you what we think. Makeup done. Um, I'm about to put my earrings in and I thought I'd quickly show you them on here because I've just taken some pictures of them for stories. But they are so gorgeous. I think you guys are going to like them. So I got an email about this brand that make earrings ear huggies and cuffs so if you don't have a piercing the cuffs are perfect because they kind of just slot on and hold in place so you can kind of lay up um gorgeous earrings without even having piercings anyway they're called helix and conch so some of these were gifted and some of them i bought for myself after trying the gifted ones because i was like these are so gorgeous so here I've got ones with the spikes on. I hope you can see these a bit better now. So yeah, they're so delicate. They've got loads of diamonds and details and here are the cuffs ones. So I'm gonna put them on now and show you what they look like on. I'm just very into this brand at the moment. I think they're gorgeous. So I have four piercings in this ear and two piercings in this ear. However, my like top one here, what is that called? Is that is that your conch? I don't think so. I can't remember that what that's called, but oh, cartilage piercing. That's kind of closed up because it got too painful and I had to take it out. This little spiked one in here. My first piercing hole, my ears is quite high up on my lobe, and that is because I had it done when I was one. I had my ears pierced on my first birthday, which I love. Like I don't remember it. <laughs> it meant I didn't have to do it again when I was older if I wanted them but then I have just added more piercings as as I've gone on I'm just gonna lay these on and then show you the little cuffs but yeah these are all really affordable and you can buy them in sets or individually so I've got some cuffs here I'll put this one on first I'm just gonna put it at the top and then slide it down and pop it in there it's so easy and it looks so gorgeous like it's proper making me want to get some piercings at the top and then you can like put one up here as well which I think just looks so cute I'm gonna put all of them up here or you could bring it down and pop it in there as well it is lunchtime and I've got my usual chicken bagel and some KFC crips crips <laughs> crisps <laughs> Which I interviewed, which I interviewed, <laughs> which I reviewed on my Insta stories the other day. I think I gave them a six out of ten. Would buy again. I would. I stick by that. I'm just making myself the coffee with my AeroPress, and I got myself some syrup. It arrived yesterday. It's the Simply Hazelnut flavored syrup. Oh, I do anything for hazelnut. Um, it's sugar free. Mm, so I'm going to try it let's give it a sniff test I think it was like £9 from Amazon and it's huge and they do loads of flavours this company they do like a sorted caramel let's have a sniff oh yeah oh whoa that just smells like pure Frere Rocher I'm going to my coffee making G a lady grey also our gusto arrived for the week so i'm going to open it up i can't remember what we've ordered for dinners this week but i feel like we've got a couple of fish dishes we've got four meals we have got a baharat chicken with batata hara and sumac yogurt looks like that we've got a barbecue cajun prawn skewer with jacket sweet potato and salsa that looks so good we've got an aromatic tandoori bassa fillet with a rice salad looks like that nice and light and then i also ordered a pasta a smoky chicken and mushroom linguine excited about all those i also love how gusto comes comes like this oh look these must be the, the skewers 
that's fun rogue spring onion there this bit is like a, re a re refrigerated box and it has all the cold stuff in it and then these sachets which are all recyclable give you everything else g was propping his window open <laughs> with a box of stuff earlier and then he opened his window wider and forgot and all this stuff fell out onto our roof so now i need to climb out this window <laughs> to try and get it Oh my god, it looks like Paul. <laughs> I know, I can't wait to get it. <laughs> it's just a box of Peloton stuff. Can't you reckon I could fit? Yeah. If I was shorter, I'd do it, babe. Oh my god. This is hand. what burglars must feel like. You'd, you'd have to be much quieter if you were yeah. a burglar. Oh. Should we build a little balcony? We should build a little rooftop garden up here. I love it. It's well cool. It's making into a door. Whoa. No! <laughs> no! Little boy! So, the men just came round. I don't know what to call them, the men. We just cooked the bassa for dinner. Oh, it looks so good. Here it is. Bassa rice salad. 